Okay, so welcome back to our second video on distance rate time problems. And uh, just to recap what we've already done, uh, we are looking at the different directions. And the reason why we look at the directions, the reason why we draw them out, it helps us to know whether or not we're going to have an addition in our equation or are we going to set the distances equal to each other. And so for the first graphic, remember motions in opposite directions could mean that two cyclists are coming towards each other from opposite directions. Uh, they can also be heading in the same direction. And the video that we did first, uh, a round trip distance where the cyclists can ride, turn around, and then come back to the original destination. All right, so in this one, remember uniform rate is when an object uh, moves without changing its speed or rate. And we're going to use the distance rate time formula to assist us in these problems. All right, so for this question here, uh, it is asked to two cyclists, Daniel and David, started at noon from point 60 miles apart and rode toward each other, meeting at 1.30 p.m. Daniel's speed was four miles per hour faster than David's speed. Find their speeds. Well, first, it's a good to get an understanding of the directions and the motion. So remember, this one here would be an opposite direction. Why? Because they are starting at points apart from each other and they're going to meet. And so the first motion and the second motion look similar to this. And the reason why motion one uh, is faster is because Daniel is traveling at a speed that is faster than David. It's four miles per hour faster. All right, so the way that we're going to go about doing this is first to state the type of motion and draw a sketch. Now, we've already done that. That's opposite direction and we want to have a sketch. Now this sketch is more static and just gives an idea of how the motion within the distance is working. And so you see uh, Daniel represented by the green line is four miles per hour faster. So he should cover more distance than David. Now remember the total distance covered is 60 miles and this will later help us in establishing a proper equation. So step two, we're going to have to let a variable equal to David's speed and then also Daniel's speed. Well, because we're dealing with rate instead of speed, we could use the letter R to represent David's speed. Now, the reason why we're going to let R be David's speed is because Daniel's speed is four miles per hour faster. That allows us to make it a bit easier. It doesn't really matter which one you choose as long as you're consistent. But since it's already written for us in that format, it's easier just to keep David's speed as R and then Daniel's speed, since it says four miles per hour faster as underlined, will become r plus four. With that, we can now create a chart organizing the facts and labeling our sketch. Well, as we put our chart there, we simply put Daniel and David and see what their rate and time equivalent to their distance will be. Well, as we saw, David's speed is represented by r, and the time we can find because it said started at noon. Well, if it started at noon and finishes at 1.30 p.m., well, that would be about an hour and a half. Because we're using decimal time, we're gonna write it as 1.5 because 30 minutes, remember, is out of 60 minutes and that's not in decimal form in the sense of writing it in terms of a decimal number. That helps us to easily find our distance to simply be 1.5 times r. Now we can look at Daniel. Remember, Daniel's gonna be r plus four because he's four miles per hour faster than what da David is actually traveling. In terms of our time, well, it's the same amount of time. So our distance for Daniel that he traveled will be 1.5 times the quantity r plus four. Well, with that, it makes it very easy to come up with an equation by just simply looking at our sketch. Remember, the two of them will cover a distance of 60 miles. Well, that means that uh, Daniel is going to cover a portion of that distance and we can use the subscript to differentiate between David's. So DN representing Daniel's distance and DV representing David's distance. Well, if I put it there, that means that the distance that Daniel traveled since he's going a bit faster will be a little bit more than David's. But the two of them together should equal up to the 60 miles that was covered between the two of them. Well, that means that I'm simply going to add, and that's what step four means, that we're going to use the sketch and table to write the equation and solve. So Daniel's distance, what we see up above, plus David's distance will equal to 60 miles. And as an equation, that's simply 1.5 times r plus four as a quantity, 
plus 1.5r is going to equal to 60. Now that we have an equation, we can simply use our algebra skills to solve for r. And so on the side, we're going to do that. And so we will have 1.5 and we're going to distribute that inside. So everything inside of the expression will be multiplied by 1.5. So that becomes 1.5 plus r, 1.5 r plus 6 plus the 1.5 r equals to 60. We can collect the like terms and that will give us 3 r plus 6 equals 60. And then we just need to solve for r. We're going to move that 6 over, collect the like terms. And remember, when you move that number over by canceling, uh, you're going to subtract. And what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. And so that cancels on the left side. And on the right side, we have 60 subtract 6. And that gives us 3r equals 54. Uh, to get r by itself, we're going to divide by the same number 3. And what I do to one side of the equation, we'll do to the other. The threes will cancel to one and one R we could just write as R and 54 divided by three is 18. Now this is where the consistency lies. We set our R to represent David's rate. So 18 will be the answer for David's rate. And we just need to look at what unit we're using and we will know what David's speed is. In order to find Daniel's speed, well, you simply have to add 18 to four and 18 plus four is 22. So relatively quickly, we have found David's speed and Daniel's speed. David's speed being 18 miles per hour and Daniel's speed being 22 miles per hour. Now it's left up to you to check it. Uh, it's relatively easy if you substitute those numbers back into uh, the information from the chart, you will see that they add up to 60 miles per hour. And that's how you would do a distance rate time problem when the two objects are traveling from opposite directions.